Hi, Sam here for ProRaster Scientific. Um, I'm going to use contouring today and um, I want a particular kind of contouring style where you have um, solid colour uh, and constant colour between each contour level and I'm just going to show you how to achieve that. So here's ProRaster Scientific. I'll create a new contour algorithm for this little bit of um, terrain data. Um, so this is terrain derived from LiDAR and um, and if you zoom in on uh, any area you can see that the the color grad, um, is continuously variable between each contour level um, and that's a default but what I want is contours with contour levels with constant color between them so to do that we need to create a special colour table. So let's do that now. So you go into the colour table editor, which is here. Um, and um, so I'm going to use an existing colour table as the source of the colour. Um, so uh, for example, I might use a pseudo colour or um, or any of my other color tables, but actually the one that I want to use is this Atlas color table. So, um, so this is a color map, and I want to take the colors out of it, um, or actually this one, Atlas land from sea level upwards. So we'll take the colors out of it, but we're going to change the data mapping. So I'm going to clone that color table and what I want to do is create a legend but because this thing is already a legend I can't immediately create a new legend from it so I'm just going to create I'm just going to take the colors out of it so this is going to be my um, atlas temp or continuous color take the colors out of it, hit OK. So now I've got a new color table called Atlas Continu Continuous Color. Now I'll duplicate that again, and this time I'm gonna create a color legend. So I'm gonna use 20 meter contour intervals from zero, uh, from minus 20 up to 300. So I'll have 16 colors in my legend. The continuous range, so it'll be minus 20 to zero, then zero to 20 and 20 to 40. Um, the minimum value will be minus 20 and I'm going to call this one um, Central Coast Color Map. So here's my Central Coast Color Map. Now I need to edit it to set the ranges to the right values. So from minus 20 to 0, 0 to 20 and so on and as you uh, type in these values everything else updates to make sure that uh, the ranges are all legal so you only have to type in some of the values otherwise it would make for a very boring video 260 280 300 so there's my color table from minus 20 up to 300 in steps of 20 hit ok central coast color map is the one that we want to use so let's now change my lookup table color layer, which is underneath my contours, um, to that color table that I just created. And then go into my contour properties, and I'm going to turn off, whoops, turn off, oh my god, I'm double clicking. Turn off automatic spacing, put it on 20 meter spacing, I'm going to have a major contour step of one, so all of my contours are major contours, and um, that will be okay. And and there we have the result. Oops. Maximize that and uh, zoom in. Um, so now you can see that we've got um, perfectly constant color between each of our contour lines. Um, something I didn't mention in the deep dive on contouring is this variable here, 
which is the adjust resolution variable. So in, um, and it's on the contour component property. So uh, normally that would be set to zero um, for all other kinds of layers. And what that means is that when you uh, render to the screen, it's going to be acquiring data at the optimal resolution. If you set it to greater than zero, then it's going to acquire data at a sort of lower resolution, one power of two for every step above zero. So with contours, it is by default set to minus, uh, sorry, set to two. And that means that instead of drawing our contour lines um, from one pixel to the next, we're, we're drawing them at two to the power two, which is four. So our contour fragments, the fragments of the contour lines are going to be four pixels apart on average. And the result is um, that the contours are a little bit smoother than the imagery that's behind the contours. And that's entirely appropriate, I think, in the majority of cases. So if I set this to three, you can see that the contour lines get a little bit more jagged. I think two is the best. But if you want the contours to be absolutely pixel perfect with, uh, in comparison to the color rendering, then you can set it right down to zero and then the contours are going to follow uh, the pixels um, at, uh, at a one is to one basis. Anyway, so that's how to create a constant color um, across uh, between your contour lines. It, uh, basically, you have two layers, your contour layer on top, your lookup table color layer underneath, and you need to create a special color table which incorporates the data to color mapping um, to, uh, to set the color in your underlying lookup table color layer appropriately between the contours. Finally, uh, and uh, yeah, so that, that's it.